The case Schiller Home Price Index rose more than 5 percent in July from a year ago to near record levels. As we've been reporting, strong demand for homes and a shortage of inventory are helping to drive prices higher. But unlike the period before the financial crisis, people aren't borrowing as much to finance their homes. If you're buying or selling a home today, you may be even more frustrated uh, with the process than usual. A severe shortage of appraisers is delaying closings and there's no short-term fix in sight. Diana Olick reports. Joyce Smith is on her fourth appraisal of the day. This 23-year veteran of the business has never been so busy. I get calls five, six, seven, eight times a day. And I used to go far away to do appraisals, but there's so many I don't have to go for very far anymore. Smith is busy because she's one of a fast shrinking army of appraisers. The ranks have dropped by 23 percent since the start of the financial crisis, ironically due to new rules designed to safeguard both borrowers and lenders. Anyone who wants to become a licensed appraiser must now get 2,500 hours of experience in two years as an apprentice. But appraisers are now required to be on site during an inspection with an apprentice. The result? Appraisers see no reason to hire and pay apprentices. We definitely overcorrected, and I think there were some unforeseen consequences. Um, initially, when they removed the attorney to be able to inspect the property, I didn't think they understood the trickle-down effect it would have in affecting the entire mortgage market. Some argue it's not just new rules, but appraisal management companies underpaying workers. Still, as the number of appraisers drops, the timeline for appraisals grows especially as low interest rates prompt more refinances. Appraisal delays have jumped by 50 percent just since the beginning of this year. You're seeing significant delays, you're seeing cost increases, you're seeing rates expire. And without new recruits, the industry is aging fast. Now more than 60 percent of appraisers are over the age of 50. If you're really, really busy, you don't have time to train anyone. And if you're not busy, you don't have any time, you don't have anything to train them with. Changes to the new rules are being considered, but there's no quick fix. And in the meantime, the number of delays and the level of frustration continue to rise. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington. Rental car stocks head in reverse, and that's where we begin tonight's market focus. Shares of Avis and Hertz were hit hard after Avis's president and CFO said European demand in August was, quote, disappointing. He noted that weakened demand was felt across the industry and that it's believed the softness was driven by security concerns in Europe. Avis shares fell 8 percent to 35.77. Hertz dropped 10 percent to 41.55. Medical devices company Boston Scientific will buy EndoChoice for $210 million. EndoChoice, which makes products and services for treating gastrointestinal conditions, will become part of Boston Scientific's endoscopy business. Shares of EndoChoice soared more than 88 percent to $795, while Boston Scientific dropped a penny to $2372. Shares of Juno Therapeutics took off after competitor Kite Pharma reported positive clinical results on a cancer treatment. Juno is reportedly having a similar drug that may prove to be similarly successful. Juno shares finished up nearly 13 percent at 33.42. Kite flew as well, up 9 percent to $60 for cents. American Express uh, will hike its dividend 10 percent to 32 cents a share. The company's board also approved a new 150 million share buyback. This replaces Amex's previous buyback that had 50 million shares remaining. Shares of American Express rose more than 1 percent on the day to 64.28. The mattress maker Temper Sealy warned that third quarter sales will be below expectations, saggy, and sees uh, six, 2016 sales down 1 to 3 percent from 2015. The company also guided its full year adjusted earnings lower. Shares of the mattress maker took some lumps after hours, initially dropping more than 20 percent after closing the regular day flat at 74.45. The drive-in restaurant franchise Sonic said its estimated fourth quarter sales and profit will be below expectations. Sonic CEO cited lower consumer spending in restaurants and continued competition as reasons for the numerical